Okay, you've got to love chemistry because sometimes it's just like cooking. And to be honest, that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to cook some seaweed and turn it into a plastic. Now, the seaweed I'm going to use is bladderwrack. It's all over the place here in England. It's a brown seaweed, but any of those brown seaweeds will just be fine. Now, I've collected this before and I've done videos where I've gone down to the beach near where I live and picked up some bladderwrack, dried it and chopped it up. And that's what you get. It looks a bit like tea. Now, that's our base material. What I did with it then was powder it, and that's just blitzing it in a blender until it turns into this nice fine grey powder. We need to take about 50 grams of that and 250 millilitres of water and zhuzh it up in a blender, and you end up with this kind of seaweed smoothie. Yeah, it smells of the sea, it's kind of, kind of nice actually. This seaweed smoothie is the basis of what we're going to uh, use for our plastic. Now to do that, we actually put that smoothie into a pan with some extra water and a bit of this stuff, which is ordinary cornstarch. And then we heat that until it's just boiling, stir it for half an hour, and that's your plastic made. Now in here, like I say, we've got 50 grams of our seaweed and 200 milliliters, 250 milliliters of our water. And to that, we need to add another 500 mils. Okay, so in my pan I've got my seaweed cooking up, and what I've got here is a packet of cornstarch and another 500 millilitres of water. It's 250 grams of corn flour, actually. And what I'm going to do is add the corn flour to the seaweed mix while stirring. Once I do that, obviously, I don't want that to thicken up. So I'm going to have to keep on stirring it until it forms a nice gel, and that's all you do. Okay, so 20 to 30 minutes later, what you get is this, which is quite a gelatinous mass, really. But that's your plastic. Now, obviously, what we need to do is make that into something. What they tend to do with this kind of stuff is make it into films, because they're really interested in this for things like food packaging, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is spread it out and dry it. I was quite surprised how nicely that spread, actually. So I've got a bit of plate glass here, and I've just put a couple of tablespoons on and run it over with the knife to make this film. And then, like I say, we're going to dry it now and um, see what kind of film we get as a result from that. But it spread really easily on the plate glass. Okay, so when it's dry, you can peel it off. Now, I peeled some off and scrunched it up into this really hard block that I've got here, because we put quite a lot of water in. So when we remove that water, we get quite a lot of shrinkage. Now, in thin films, it's not a problem because it shrinks down. The film's a bit thick. It'll also shrink from the sides and tear the film. It is a problem with this, but these kind of plastics are actually thermoplastic. So once they're dry, they can be injection molded. So I made a chunky block of it, which meant, means I rolled up most of the film. And I kept some of the film so that we've got a film. And here's our seaweed plastic film. And we've got various bits lying around there. Now, it is quite brittle when it's like this. The, air, the part of the seaweed that's in there that makes seaweed all slimy is a little bit of a plasticizer, and you're never quite sure how much you've got, so you can add a bit of glycerin. The glycerin actually stops it being brittle. If we put um, the two tablespoons of glycerin into the mix we made, it would actually be much more um, flexible and not quite as brittle as these films are. But we've done this because this is the basics of it. Now, there should be two things that really occur to you. The first one is, how easy was that? I mean, that's really, really simple. And it is. It, it really is that easy. You add the bits together and you cook it up for a little bit while giving it a stir, and that makes you plastic. It is that simple. So you very easy to give this a go in your own kitchen if you feel like making seaweed-based bioplastics. And the other thing you should be thinking of is, that's a tiny bit of film and that's not very impressive. What do I do with that? <laughs> that's perfectly valid. These are tiny bits of film and there's not a lot we can do with those particularly, but it is the basics because all of these uh, bioplastic seaweeds, so seaweed bioplastics, so I'm sorry, are made in exactly the same way. What you do with them after you've made them really is going to dictate what they're actually like and what you can make from them. Because we can thermoplastically uh, inject it, remember. This will go in an injection moulding machine. Now, we can add lots and lots of things to this. And those things that you're going to add are going to change the properties. For instance, we might add chopped up fibres, like uh, hemp fibres in there, for example. So there's a lot of experimentation you can do with this. Now you know the basics of how to go about it. 
because when you mix that stuff in there and it sets to that gel and you dry it, what you mix in there is going to change what you do dramatically. And that's a huge area to be able to experiment with. So I wanted to show you the absolute basics because I wanted to show you how easy it was. And we've produced small bits, a hard block and some tiny films that are quite brittle. Uh, but still, I don't think that matters because that is what you need to know. What you need to do after that is experiment, really. Anyway, I hope the video is of interest. It is something I'm going to pursue for a while, so there'll be uh, sort of ideas on additions that you can make. But I thought it would be um, good to see the basics of it. Hopefully it'll spark some ideas. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.